These two girls are pretty special. They're from Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. This is Sierra on my left, and this is Jenna on my right. They're both awesome swimmers. Sierra has this extraordinary flexibility in her shoulder that enables her to swim with what I call a vertical recovery. Flexibility of the shoulders is an extremely valuable tool in fast swimming, and in no stroke is it more important than in butterfly. We're gonna start with a 25 of late breath fly, okay? And the objective here for Sierra is she's, you know, you're gonna to try to come up over the top, high arm recovery. Jenna, you do whatever recovery is normal for you. We're gonna breathe every cycle, take four dolphin kicks to break out. Not too many, you want to see more swimming than underwater here. Stop when you get to the middle of the pool. All right, you guys ready? With Sierra's amazing flexibility, she's able to recover her arms over the water with her hands considerably higher than her elbows. Using gravity, the higher her arms recover over the water, the more energy they will have when they strike the water. Jenna has much tighter shoulders and must work on gaining more flexibility, while Sierra's shoulder flexibility enables her to use this important vertical butterfly recovery technique. Coinciding with her head snapping down, Sierra's arms coming down from above generate tremendous kinetic energy that increases the power of her second down kick, surging her forward. Jenna shows a more conventional arm recovery, swinging the arms around to the side to enter her hands. The sidearm recovery, gravity does not play as important a role in building speed for her arm entry as it does in Sierra's vertical recovery. Because of her more limited shoulder flexibility, Jenna must also elevate her shoulders higher out of the water on the breaststroke to recover her arms over the water, causing more frontal drag. Sierra is able to keep a relatively horizontal body position even with her higher arm recovery, resulting in less frontal drag. Using velocity meter technology, we measured Sierra's acceleration and her increased velocity resulting from her forceful vertical arm entry and quick head motion coupled with her strong second down kick. Using this technique, her average peak acceleration was 16 meters per second squared, increasing her velocity by over one meter per second. Our favorite way of teaching the vertical arm recovery in butterfly is by using the left-right front drill. On the left-right front drill, you're gonna breathe left, breathe right, and then breathe to the front, late breath on the third one. Ready? Go. With each arm recovery, whether with a single arm or using both arms together, the swimmer recovers the arms as high above the water as possible. While it may entail more work to bring the arms higher over the water, we believe that the reward of the additional speed gained is well worth the effort. Left, right, late breath, late breath, good, very nice. Excellent, that was beautiful. The key to using vertical butterfly recovery technique is to develop greater flexibility for extension of the shoulders. 
In an upcoming webisode, we will show you some of the best stretches we know to increase your shoulder flexibility. We need all the flexibility in those shoulders we can get, especially in butterflying.